This children's park is the only recreational facility in Dansoman and its neighboring communities. What stood as a middle playground for children has now become a death trap. Before the 2016 general election, both the NDC and NPP parliamentary aspirants promised to have this park fished after the general election. Three years on, nothing has been done here, with more and more children getting wounded any time they come here to play. Look, this is how deadly the park has become. But the children won't stop playing here because as they claim this is a rightful place to have fun. Aside the trees, nothing else at the Dunsoman Children's Park is fit enough to serve recreational needs of patrons. Despite the poor state of the playground, children still go there to play and have fun. The children jump from one play item to the other, but with extra care as any missed step could end them up in hospital. But for these children, it is their only source of joy after several hours of classroom lessons. Even the football park is a painful story to tell, reflecting the pathetic state of the children's park. This park used to be one of the nicest parks that we used to come and train on, you know, play on those times when we were in primary school and GHS. But right now, as you can see, popularly known and then Suman Children's Park Tunga, you know, it's in, it's in a completely bad state. Over the years, people have said they would come and help, but then there's been nothing so far. Years ago, the Dunsuman Children's Park was a mad sea, mad go for children. But now, several facilities have become white elephants. Municipal Chief Executive for Ablikuma West, George Cyril Blay, wants support to have the playground rehabilitated. It's quite uh, an amount if we are to revive the place. And as we speak, we don't have the funds to do that. So what we're trying to do is to put a finishing touch to the document, then possibly put it out there for anybody who is interested in the kids stuff to come and partner the assembly so we put it back in shape. Children who cannot afford to pay to play at private grounds want authorities to take serious their right to decent place to play and have fun. Joseph Armstrong, Goldalogi, TV3, Dan Suman.